made for destruction. Alright guys, and we are back with more Donna Roba 2 Goodbye to Spare the World where we left off on Hunt. Our good friend Nakamaru did make it. Man. It's crazy because it's like I said, I was like, yo, he can't die, right? Man, they was like, fuck that. Damn, man. And it's crazy because like, like, and like I said, I always do my early assumptions. Sometimes they turn out to be bad, which in the first two cases they were. Um, the third case, <laughs> <laughs> like, goddamn. But, um, you know, they're not right all the time. And sometimes they are. But, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and say them. You know, Kazuichi or Gundam. I feel. I feel like Fuyuhiko's not going to kill anybody. With Peko, he's made too much character development. And I hope and I pray to God that he makes it out. Because who, who knows? After what just happened, he's got to live. Not only for him, but he's got to live for Peko, too. So I'm like, I don't think Kazuichi. Uh, not Kazuichi. Yeah, uh, uh, not Kazuichi. Um, I don't think Fuyuhiko is going to do anything. And I hope nobody kills him. I swear to God, I'm going to be mad. Um, but I say that because I think it's either between Kazuichi or Gundam. And I say Gundam because we saw his hamster just straight up push a button. So, how come, how the, like, do like, the, the hamsters could very well do exactly that to Nakamaru. Cause like, I mean now that I say that, it makes even more sense. Cause it's like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't like, like what she's like, Akane said it. She's like, um, there's no way somebody would have just been able to just take out Nakamaru like that. And I'm thinking about that good night button and I'm like, yo, it could have been the hamsters. You know what I'm saying? And that makes sense to me. I think about it. So it's like... Like, who, who else? Who else? And it's like, the way I see it... The way I, I see it right now... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any much to go on. But the way I see it, I feel like... Gundam could have very well, they're like the the hamsters could have very well pushed the button on him. You know what I mean? Because Akane is right. Like he, he was already a strong dude. He came back stronger as a robot. Like who would have been able to get the jump on him? You know, I ain't gonna say who, but I know what the damn hamsters. And if the hamsters did it, then that means Gundam probably was involved. Cause I don't see it being nothing else. Like, and it's like that button is super little. That button is super little. Let me. Look, can we look at them again? Let me look at the button again. How small it is. It's small. It's small. But it's on the back of Nakamura's neck. Trying to press that would be a hard task. Even if Nakamura was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. I feel like that literally what that's literally saying, hey, it wouldn't have been easy. So I who the fuck else could have did it? So let's actually finally get out of here. I love speculating and I hate I hate that and love that about myself. But I tend to waste a lot of time, but I mean I hope you guys are just here for the ride. You know what I mean? But man, that's what I feel. And shout out to Sakura from the first game. But uh let's talk to Chiaki. Yep. Now that we've come all the way here, I can definitely hear something. Yep, it sounds like it's coming from the floor above us. But what could it be? Hmm. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely here. At least I think it is. It, it, it got louder as we got here, so you know it's probably here. Hey, hey. Doesn't it sound like it's ringing here? Does 
the same over here? Is it the clock? See? Jesus, no, it looks like it's the phone. Oh damn, I thought it was the clock. The phone, huh? Okay. Mm. Let's see, just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button. Damn right. Oh shit, it's my boy Free Ego. I was just talking about you, bro. I was just saying how you wanna make it out alive. Hey, what's, what's up, bro? Jeez. Jeez, you know how long the phone was been? I was getting worried that no one pick up. What are you guys doing? Are you guys still in Strawberry House? Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. And we can't even... We can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button there is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks over here. So... I feel like somebody from... I, I feel like somebody from Strawberry House did it. Not only is the elevator broken, but... The strawberry hall door button is broken hey, too. Bastard. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? We're safe, but you can't find Nekamara anywhere. You know something? Did you hear? About a discovery announcement earlier. Damn. So that's what it was. Shit, why did that that's what I'm saying, bro? Why did it have to be Nekamara? He just came back to us. What was he killed? Great Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already. See. Great Tower. Why don't we send the Kazuichi a little bit? <laughs> if the door to the Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and. Holy shit, that's it! The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door so they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Woo! That definitely makes sense. Yes. Damn it, that dirty bastard! What about another way? Is there another way you guys can come oh, to this yeah. side? I guess we just have to let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's out right now. <clears throat> but besides, if he doesn't stand out now, when the hell will he, right? I... Based on what Kazuichi said, it's gonna be hard for him to fix the strawberry hollow door without parts. But he said he might be able to do something. Well, we'll be waiting. Maybe we'll okay? Damn right. Yeah. We'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. Until then, it's up to you bastards. Hey, hey. So the call came from Strawberry House. Yeah, apparently the others can't come over because the broke elevators work. There's no doubt that this is the killer's doom. They prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. As long as the elevator's out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. That's not all. For some reason, even the door to Strawberry Hall is broken too. Huh? The door button to Shari Hall? Um... Then that door, is it blocked from both sides? There's a sturdy chain tied around it from the inside. The button is also broken on the outside. Then. Yeah, it seems to be the case. Mm. Why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? I'm not really sure, but there is something strange about that. Um... I would like to investigate that in more detail, but... If they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means, for now, it's impossible to check the... That's exactly what I was gonna say. It's impossible to check the final dead room. I'm not entirely comfortable with you going over there. But regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuichi is repairing the elevator. All we can do now... Put our hope in it. But my Akuma isn't going to wait. I doubt we have that much time before the crash shop starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix this soon. If not. Hmm? Hmm, hello? What? Hey? Are you listening? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? I'm right. Oh, shit! I'm Nagito! I can say No bitch, that's wrong! No bitch, that's wrong! Oh fuck! That's what Bruh. Bruh. I'm back. I am the lucky student once again. <laughs> Alright, let me cut it out. Nagito, I'm talking to you. Huh? 
Jeez. Don't harm me. I figured you weren't listening. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking. Hm. You were probably thinking of something fucked up, weren't you? But I've been listening to you. Nakamaru was killed, right? Then that body discovery announcement was firm to him. Damn it. <sighs> Out of everyone here, it just had to be Nakamaru. Damn it! After what he went through to come back to his... Damn it! How pitiful. It's said to be being killed by his tree and burdened by terrible misfortune. Hey. Okay. So now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Huh? Is it alright if you wait a little bit? Before you do that, we should... Did you call for me? Get the on a coma fire, right? <laughs> oh shit, he's here! Now then. It seems you guys noticed that the incident has taken place, so this is for you! Red bean bread and milk! And there's a bonus item! It's the Monokuma file! Do your best! Come on, satisfy your hunger with this and be your very best on the investigation. Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? Whatever, man, let's just eat. Eating should come first right now. Right. <laughs> Dude, I'm right! <laughs> you're right! <laughs> but can you hear me out while you're at it? What do you hear? What is it? You sound mad over Well. I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so... Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We gotta wait till Kazuichi faces the damn elevator. True, there is no doubt that the killer is responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope will give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Fine. Seems that we too shall bring the investigation on our end. Though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end with me a child's play. <sighs> I'm so glad! I knew you guys were pumped up from the start! How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. Ah, such beauty. It is no higher honor for me to investigate this murder with you guys. So we need to be grateful towards Nekamaru for becoming the foundation of his hope. Well, regardless, whose side should I be on for this case? The killer or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm going to find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm Nagito. Let's get it. Hey, guys. Why don't you try arranging the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can properly understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objection. Proceed. Then let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in the Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we stay in a strawberry house, it's in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Great Tower, we needed to use the elevator first to get to the Great House. And that was before 7 a.m. Since we realized the elevator. Anyway. Since we can't do anything about it, Strawberry Hall. Broke it. Not at all. <laughs> So for he suggested that we use the phone and call Grape House. This concept. was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected that the elevator <coughs> tower. Man. Well, I was an idiot. If I knew that, that would be so we might memorize. That's when I saw him going down to the front. You personally. Hey, hey! Who was the stone line? Huh? Longing sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? <laughs> right after the clock, right after the clear rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either? It's loud! Huh? That's weird. Hmm. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. There's no way you guys will ever like me. Interesting. So, apparently. <coughs> 
this case, swear to God, I am going to bring or sort like uh writes down because um I fix down especially like the things in yellow um will probably help out. Because uh, it seems like everything in yellow, like we're gonna use that or we have to remember it in some way or form. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely uh, do that. But I'm gonna do it in the next case. But I'm not gonna do it this case. But he said that apparently a clock wrong. And apparently, Kazuichi and, uh, and, um, Kazuichi and Fuyahiko heard it. But, Apparently, Nagito didn't hear it. Let me talk to him. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? I stuff about a rumbling sound and a ringing clock. What was all that about? Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. So that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And as I went down to the hall towards the lounge. Hey! What are you doing? I'm trying not to freak out right now. But here's the thing. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm fucking freaking out. Because... I think... I can't say this yet. But... Dude... This literally proves that Gundam is the killer. And why the fuck am I saying that? Hear me out. Nagito just said he didn't hear shit, right? He didn't hear a boom, the sound. He didn't hear a ring, right? Chiaki sound. She did, Chiaki said she didn't hear a sound. He said she didn't hear a sound either. Those are all the people who have a deluxe. So, so why in the hell is Gundam out here? No way he was supposed to be able to hear this sound if he was in his room, which probably wasn't at his room at the time. Because there's no way he should be able to hear this right now. He shouldn't hear it. If the insulation, remember they said the deluxe rooms have ridiculous, ridiculously good insulation, right? So, and Nagito literally just confirmed. He literally confirmed what I'm saying. Because Nagito couldn't hear it. We found out that Sonya and Chiaki didn't hear the, the rumbling sound. So, this, I literally think this proves it. Kazuichi just helped us out in the biggest way possible. I really think this confirms it. Because... He had a deluxe room. There's no way he should be able to hear this, right? Because... Like I said... Nagito said he couldn't hear that Sonya and Chiaki couldn't hear shit, right? And... If I can remember right... Nagito won first. Gundam was second. Nekamaru was third, Kazuichi and Fuyuhiko. That's it. That's it. That is it. It's his ass. Oh my god. It's him. Because look, remember how I'm pretty sure if it's sounding the way I think it is, Kazuichi heard some shit. Fuyuhiko heard some shit, and, and, and I heard some shit, because we were all in shitty rooms. So, why is he able to- This rock is- It's louder of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Get all that noise so sudden- It's him. It's him. It's him. It's- it's Gundam. The wall clock just started ringing! I was just trying to stop- oh, It's Gundam. Then hurry up and stop it already! Yes. Like, like, the first thing that made me feel like it was him- the, the fucking hamster! The hamster pushed the button! That's a little unnecessary, don't you think? But now... Now I'm thinking about it, I'm like... Yes. Like, like, the first thing that made me feel like it was him? 
the, the fucking hamster. The hamster pushed the button. That's a little unnecessary, don't you think? But now, now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, this, this damn hamster could have pushed the button. No, I'm in the. And that's when the sound finally stopped. Uh, yeah, well, I'm definitely wide awake now. The defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You. What do you think you're doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you need to get there pretty fast. Kazuichi? You very well have. You know what? And it's crazy, because like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Like, what happened? But... Kazuichi mentioning this? This is it. The case, the case, the case is solved. I may not have all the pieces, but it's him. Because there's no way he should have been able to hear it because he was in the deluxe room. And the deluxe rooms have, now I'll see if he was in the standard room, but he wasn't in the standard room. Nekamaru was in the standard room. So there's no way he should have heard it. And he shouldn't have been able to get here that fast. And Nagito not being here confirms it. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush. Oh, he's talking. To, he's talking to Fuyiko. I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. So he w she was already here. You see? Coincidence? Hmm. Huh? What do you? Do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever. I don't really give a shit. But it's 5:30 a.m. Oh man. <laughs> Man, thanks to Fuyuhiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. <laughs> Damn. Huh? What was that sound? What's going on? Oh. Pressure. So they all heard it. But it's like... Alright, so look. So they all heard that sound. But case in point, he still shouldn't have heard... The alarm, though. So I didn't know he heard this sound. I had no clue about that. But <coughs> he shouldn't have heard the alarm clock, though. Hey, 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 hey. There's no way this building is gonna collapse, right? Hey, hey Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. Hmm. And that's what happened. Wow. So you were the one clinging to Fuyuhiko, huh? That's obviously wrong. That's not the important part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also, and not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to just go back to our rooms for a while. I hate they did that, because that's when it happened. I see, what you said just now was an extremely important. I'm telling you, bruh. This moment on, I'm paying to it. I'm paying attention to fuck Nagito says. If Nagito says something is really something is wrong, bitch, something is wrong. Thanks to that, I thought of one suspicious person. Of course, he's not gonna say it, but I know it's Gundam. He shouldn't have been there. There's no way he should have heard the clock. And Nagito probably knows this. Nagito, and I will say, yeah, I'm smart too. But god damn it. This man huh? Huh? Isn't it strange? Bruh. 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 I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud. Everyone else came out of their rooms. Nagito, real deal, just said it. He just gave you the straight answer. Because, if that's truly the case, Gundam shouldn't have heard it either. Nagito so fucking smart, and he, he's, he's a, like, oh my god. He's so sneaky, but he's so fucking smart. And that's why I say if he's the mastermind, I wouldn't be surprised. Because there's no smart in that, and fucking crazy like that. There's no way. Look what he said. I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud everyone else came out of their rooms. He's literally he's literally telling it on Gundam right now. Well, the same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why you? Hey, you better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us. He kinda is. <laughs> Listen that for now. Hey, hey, hey! 
Dr. Nalon is what's making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems like there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first, and the yelling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to the case? Where did he go? <coughs> you said that you witnessed Nakamura at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was near nearly morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. Turns out I was totally off. It was still around 5, 5 a.m. And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. And when I stuck my head out from the lounge, I saw that Kamaru was back. He was about to go down the first floor. You know what? You know what? I'm about to have another one of my stupid guesses, alright? So I already said that they were gonna fuck with the clocks, but I think they done it. They they had done it at that time. And the reason why I say that is is that What I wanted to know is that. Oh shit. No! Monokuma Tai Chi was held at 7 o'clock every day. And. Can I look at the log? This is great. This is great. So look, it turns out it, I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. So straight the fuck up, they turned the clocks back two hours. Because Monokuma Tai Chi starts at 7 a.m. And if we keep it in a whole book, the only person that could have had the track of time was Nekamaru. So Nekamaru, so... So Nekamaru was on time. Right? I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. Damn, that's when he probably got killed. I knew something like that would happen. I would have must have just shut the follow. Damn. Hey, hey. Well why would Nekamaru run off so early in the morning? Hell no, nah, dude. I'm piecing it together. If anybody knew what time it was, it was him. I... I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekamaru. Until just now. Then from the time you saw Nekamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge? <laughs> you were at the lounge the whole time? But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? what? Huh? Was I right? Of course not, asshole! You completely wrong! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. I thought you were reminiscing about Peko or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to go- Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Not even gonna finish that sentence. God damn it, Nagito, that's some fucked up shit. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp on the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nakamaru at 5 a.m., which I'm gonna straight up and say 7 a.m. That's the time Nakamaru apparently went down to the first floor from Monokuma Tai Chi. Uh, 7.30, we'll say 7.30 a.m. The alarm clock in the lounge started. Because let's keep it a whole book. He had the radio clock. And the radio clock couldn't be changed. So he knew what time it was at all times. Even when we didn't. So we're going to say 7.30, the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge. 
What for you, Hiko was? Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekamaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekamaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on. If Nekamaru died when we heard that, no that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? An alibi? I mean... When we heard the rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekamaru, then we have a solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm. It might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we cl first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm. A rumbling noise? Huh. Did something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator, sir. Oh my, you're still here? <laughs> Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it! And so Kazuichi ran down the stairs complaining for some reason. Please. So what should we do now? Ah, there's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator was fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What's up? The clocks in the first floor lounges are both Great House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense, right? Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard! Fine, but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but by the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. That bastard doesn't make any sense. Now. Here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for you. I can go to that place. For everyone's sake. I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. Man, where'd Rundum go? That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator? the door to the far back of the strawberry hall. Just in case, it might be good to check and make sure they're really blocked off. Yes, sir! He shouldn't have heard it. <laughs> it's him, it's gotta be him. Like, he shouldn't have heard it. You know what I mean? And he should he shouldn't have heard it. He shouldn't have heard it. Fuji goes still over there. He shouldn't have heard it. <laughs> it's done to change my mind. This too. I can think of only one reason why the killer barred the door to Shabari Hall. Judgment! Conclusion promised by my assumptions. Interesting. Still think of you though. You. The elevator's still being repaired. Get lost. Jeez, stop getting in the way. <laughs> Looks like I'm disliked. Oh well, it's understandable. I mean, compared to you, talented fellows, I'm just a piece of trash. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open so I can write. But nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? The killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see that silver cover under the button? It looks like that's the elevator control panel. They probably opened it up and messed with the settings. But the cover is locked, so they wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm. I 
Are there any tools in this building? Uh. No, there shouldn't be. I mean, I don't really know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on this side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. It's the control panel on the grave house side that's broken. Yeah. If, if the one on this side isn't broken, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there, too. Plus, the elevator's stuck on the grave house side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to Grape House? Uh. Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away! Ooh. Jeez, I'm trying to do repairs without tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? Mm, bro, look at that. Bro, look at that. It's got plenty of shit on it. Whoa! Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. If we're gonna explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? You serious? A guy like you's been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time? Huh? Is something wrong? Uh... It's nothing. I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? That multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What the hell for? Well, to be honest, there's something I still don't understand regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find. I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? <laughs> I don't really get it, but. Well, as long as I'm just checking the compass, I don't mind. I'm glad. Then I'll leave the rest to you. Alright, so, uh, let's check this room here. Oh my god, look at that. It's a strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. The button is definitely broken. There's no way it'll open like this. As I recall, based on what Fuyahiko Tahajime on the phone, the other side of the door is barred with chains. He must have been really cautious to go to the trouble of burying the door on both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The killer's intent, I can think of only an explanation. Ah, Gundam! <laughs> As they intended to keep me from... Why the fuck did he just say that twice? Listen well! Why the fuck did he just say that twice? <laughs> yeah, that was probably it. I feel like Naruto doesn't believe him either. Why the fuck did he just say that twice? Just as I thought. There's no mistake here. The elevator and the strawberry hall door look like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person. He should still be at Grape House, but... No, it's too soon to form an answer. But I won't be too late to find that answer. Even after I have finished investigating that room. Well... I'm gonna make, like I said, my assumptions. Gundam is looking straight at me, and I'm about to go into this room. Because I really feel like Gundam did it. It's Gundam. You ain't telling me otherwise. So... The final death. Only those who win the life-threatening game contained within will reach the Octagon. And inside the Octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nakamaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons in here, anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nakamaru, the killer must have obtained it here. If that's the case, I gotta get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. Oh, I bet Gundam was like, what the fuck is he doing? Oh, hell no! What is this? 
I see. So this is the final demo. It feels a little eerie. <laughs> Hope I don't get scared. The fuck? Did the door just lock? I see. So the door is designed to automatically lock. It's not I would have turned back if it stayed on me. And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected to see you here. Nakito? Huh? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I heard the body discovery announcement, and I got something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside. <laughs> you are a fool from head to toe. I, I'm truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um... Get in your way? The light threatening game is gonna start soon, right? It'd be real annoying if you got in my way. Could, could it be? Are, are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? And besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. That's wrong! You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live! I know I'm getting heart warming right now, but my heart is super scared and bombing like crazy! Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who show their hope? <laughs> now then, about this so-called life-threatening game. Wow! Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. We out. We out, fam. Alright, guys. We saving the game. Because if I'm keeping it a whole bug, if this reminds me of anything, and I said it from the very first beginning, didn't know it was going to hold this much merit. And it's crazy because my friend, she just streamed the Nonary Games just yesterday. <laughs> oh, man. This is literally feeling like the Nonary Games all over again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save the game here. We're gonna take a short break, and when we come back, hopefully, we'll be back with more Dungeon Rupert 2 by Despair. Catch you guys later.